something for you to look at that I just found on uh, an ASIC on the ASIC uh, site ABN Lookup. So the ASIC is Australian Securities and Investments Commission, um, the equivalent of the SEC in the States, I guess. So I'm looking up some ABNs. You can see what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for there. This is what I found. I haven't found this yet. But I haven't found this. So I haven't found that yet. <clears throat> it could be hidden under one of these. Here's the Australian Capital Territory registered in South Australia. <laughs> by the look of that, yep, by the designation there, SA. So you've got that registered in South Australia. Public trustee for the Australian Capital Territory registered in the ACT, a trading name, but the Australian Capital Territory is a business name is registered in South Australia. That's interesting. Trustee for the ACT entity name. Right, so what you're looking for is the business name is the name that will be left um, when this system takes on its final or kicks into the its full form under the um, new trusted digital identity system. So we're going to get rid of trading names and entity names, I think, and the only thing you'll be able to find will be the business name. So I suggest, and that will be happening in November. So I'm guessing that by November, or 31st of October, it's slated for, if you go and have a look. Uh, yeah, 31st of October. <laughs> Fuck. And that is probably the time at which um, they envision that they will have the Republic through and the trusted digital identity system up and running in this country, at least on the governmental level, and the major um, corporate stakeholders that are part of it as well. Governance, I should call it, because it's not government anymore, really. It's just corporate governance. So you got Australian Capital Territory again registered as a business name, South Australia, that's where we were. So I keep going down here and I come to this Magistrates Courts, Court of Victoria. So there you go people, there's the ABN on the uh, left hand side. You can see the ABN for the Magistrates Court of Victoria. So let's have a look at them. So their entity name. Is Department of Justice and Community Safety. They were active from the 1st of November. Meaning they made the change on the 31st of October 1999. Halloween, 1999, the same year that they tried to pass the Republic. By referendum, which was rejected by the people of Australia. So here are their trading names. And again, you see the notice um, from 1st of November uh, 2023. 
So this is it, man. By the 1st of November, shit's going to go sideways in this country. At least um, as far as the whole digitised and corporatised and fucking um, republicanised system goes. From 1st of November 2023, ABN Lookup will not display trading names and will only display registered business names. So that's all you'll get is a business name. For more information, click help, right? So we can go and have a look at that if you like. But this shows clearly that under this ABN, the Victorian Magistrates Court, Department of Justice, you've got Sheriff's Office, Infringement, Management and Enforcement Services, Coroner's Court, Office of uh, Special Investigations Monitor, Victorian Government Solicitor's Office, Registrar, look at all this, these are all the trading names, these are all the businesses that are operating under this ABN. Office of Public Prosecutions, Privacy Victoria, Law Reform Commission, and there it is, Magistrates Court. The name was used, became a trading name on March 24th, uh, 2000. Magistrates Court, Victoria. So that's the most current record of that. I extracted it. According to my extracted record extracted. So this is already using um, a fairly compliant, trusted digital identity front end. Um, through the ASIC, or maybe it, it is linking um, to another database, maybe the Home Affairs database, the DVS. Although, I don't know, that is specifically identity verification, so I'm guessing this is handled internally by the ASIC because it's um, business identification. VCAC. Yeah. Business name. Public interest monitor. Business names. So these are the business names that it trades under as well. The entity name is the Department of Justice and Community Safety. state government entity, a corporation with its own ABN. So this is um, under the new law too, or under the new regulations um, that are here. You also find that the business will no longer have to show its certificate of registration. Um, actually, in 2012, that became more, sorry. Um, 2012, businesses no longer had to show their certificate of registration. They just had to display their business name um, in their place of public commerce. Hence, you should be able to find all of these guys' ABNs here on this site. All of the government corporations. And you see this one in Victoria is actually registered here in the ACT, which makes me think the one that's registered in uh, South Australia for the ACT might be the one we're looking for as well. So there you go. The ABN of the Magistrates Court of Victoria. 
32790228959 and it is active according to the ASIC um, ABN lookup digital identity compliance.